Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to do Excel module 4 and a module project 1. Basically, this is the end of module project of module 4 Excel section. I will do this assignment step by step and you can get your assignment done by watching this video. If you want me to do this assignment for you or if you want me to do this complete course for you, including all the Excel assignments, all the Word assignments, all the PowerPoint assignments, you can contact me either through WhatsApp, email or which are already given in the description of this video. You can also hire me for your other courses like Accounting, Management, Finance, Information Technology, Computer Sciences, all other writing assignments, Mathematics, Statistics, etc. So now let's move to the instruction file. So new perspective Excel 2019 module 4 and of module project 1 FLO Biotech analyze and chart financial data. So getting started with the assignment we are supposed to download this file NPEX 19 and of module 4 project 1 that is the Excel workbook that I have already downloaded. And we are supposed to use this Excel workbook to get this assignment done. We will apply all the instructions to this Excel workbook to make this in the final form for the submission. So there is nothing else to do in getting started. So main part of the assignment is starting from project steps. And total steps to solve in this assignment are 10. We are supposed to solve those 10 steps to get this assignment done. So we will move to step number one and we'll stop we'll, we'll solve step number one now. So step number one. Alan is an intern with the with FLO Biotech. Alan is preparing a sales summary. Alan is a financial project for the prospective equipment purchase. He want to use he wants to use Excel to create charts to illustrate some of his data. Apply a function to calculate payments. So we are supposed to switch to the sales by product worksheet. This is the sales by product worksheet. In the range G7 up to G18, add column spark line based on the data in the range B7 up to F18. So this is the location for the spark line. And this is the data for the spark line. And then we are supposed to apply the green accent 6, darker 25% spark line color. So we will first go to sales by product worksheet. And then we will select this line and this range that G7 up to G18. So we have selected the range. We are supposed to insert the column spark line. So we will click on the insert tab and in the spark line section, we can see line spark line and column spark line. We are supposed to insert the column spark line. Now we are supposed to import that data range and data range is already given. That is B7 up to F18. So we will paste it here and we got the column spark line for this data range in this location. So next thing to do is we are supposed to change the spark line color to the green accent 6 darker 25%. So we will go to the spark line color green accent 6 darker 25%. This one. So we have changed the spark line color to green accent 6 darker 25%. So hence we are done with step number 1.
So now we are supposed to do step number two. Create a pie chart based on the F7 up to F17. Specify the range. So step number two is create a pie chart based on the range F7 up to F17. So we are supposed to create a pie chart based on this range. Specify the range A7 up to A17 as the horizontal axis level. He says and reposition the chart so that the upper left corner is located within cell I6 and then lower right, lower right corner is located in cell Q30. So basically we are supposed to create a pie chart. So we will select this range and we will click on the insert and we are supposed to insert a pie chart. So now it should be upper left corner is I6 and lower in 230. I6 and Q30. Okay, we have created the pie chart and now we are done with step number two and we are going to do next step that is step number three. So in step number three it is saying that enter 2021 product sales at the percentage of total as a chart title and apply the chart style six. So we are supposed to type this as the chart title 2026, 2021 product sales. 2021 product sales as percentage of total as percentage of total and then we are supposed to apply the chart style 6 and then we are supposed to apply the chart style 6 this one So let me match this to the figure, this one. And second thing was to select this one. I didn't select this one. Oh, sorry, we are supposed to take this pie chart again. It should be based on these two ranges A7 up to A17. And second range is F7 up to F17. This one, and we will insert a pie chart. Okay. Now is a pie chart. This is the reposition of the chart so the upper left corner is repeated as six. As six is here. And lower should be in Q thirty. Q 
30 and we are supposed to apply charge side 6 this one so that is our required in step number 2 and we are supposed to add this as a chart title so add this as a chart title so we are done with step number 2 step number 4 is we are supposed to create a 2D line chart based on the range B18 up to F18. Modify the chart by changing the horizontal axis level to use the range B6 up to F6. Enter total revenue by year millions as the chart title and then resize and reposition the chart so that the upper left corner is located within the cell A20 and the lower right corner is located within the cell G37. So in step number 4 we are supposed to create a 2D line chart and for this range is given that is B8 F18. So I will simply go to the sheet and I will select the range and click on the insert tab and from the so we are supposed to insert 2D line chart. Then we are supposed to modify the chart by changing the horizontal axis level to use the range B6 up to F6. So we will modify the chart and horizontal axis level should be E6 up to F6. Then enter the total revenue by year in millions as a chart title. So I will simply copy this. This one. Then resize and reposition the chart so that the upper left corner is in cell A20. So it should be in cell A20. And the lower end corner should be in cell G37. So we are done with step number 4 and next step is step number 5. Apply chart strike 13 to the line chart so you just created. So we are supposed to apply the chart strike 13 to this line chart. This one. Format the vertical axis to use a maximum value of 8000. So we are supposed to format the vertical axis. So we will format this and we will make the maximum value to 8000. Change the display unit to 1000 and do not show the units on the chart. We are supposed to change the display units to 1000 and do not show the display unit on the chart, this one. Then and show zero decimal places in the axis, zero decimal places. Decimal places should be zero, and that is all required in step number five. Now let me match this to the figure, and you can see that our chart is exactly matching to the figure that we have just created. So we are done with five steps of this assignment. That is almost 60% of the assignment. But if you want me to do this complete assignment for you, my WhatsApp number and email is showing at the bottom of the screen. You can contact me either through WhatsApp or email. And you can ask me to do this assignment for you. I request you to subscribe to my channel, like my video and comment to my videos. And if you have any question, you can contact me and you can make a deal for your complete course. Thank you so much.